Hello everyone, welcome back to another new Blue Ray review. Today I'll be talking about Paddington. Yes, I'm so excited. This came out yesterday in the UK on a Monday and I watched it as soon as I got it. Um, I watched it last night and I really, really, really enjoyed it. Now I didn't know too much about it going into it and I kind of like that. I didn't even watch the trailer for it. I just heard some good things um, from a few people and I was like, yeah, you know, I want to pick it up. It looks really cute and I was like, yeah, Paddington. And so I kind of went into it blind. I'd obviously known of the past Paddington, you know, the old classic Paddington, um, but I, d I didn't know anything about this one. Anyway, so I was really kind of excited and didn't really know what to expect, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. It's a very cute family film that's kind of just not necessarily just for kids. You can tell the kind of geared it towards everybody. I think everybody can enjoy this film. It's so lovely and very very British. It's definitely really British and it's so cute the way it's done like that. Um, it's a big supporter of London, they really love London, some of the shots they did in London were so amazing um, and let me just say my favourite thing I think about this film actually is the sets. They were so cool. At the beginning we have Paddington here who is a little bear who lives in the forest um, in Peru, um, darkest Peru and he has, they have this like the way that it's set up where they live is so awesome. I'm not really going to spoil it for you, but it's so cute, the little setup they have. Um, like some of the little, little gadgets, not gadgets, but some of the little quirky things they've built are really, really cute. And it was really cool seeing that. And then, um, basically the story's about Paddington. He goes off to London. I'm sure most of you knew that already. And he meets the Browns, the Brown family. And their house is so cool. Um, there's some shots where basically the house is kind of done like a doll, that like you're looking into it. So if you're looking into a doll's house type of thing and um, the way that the shot is set up um, so it's basically like you know, chop the front off the house and you can see each room and each room in that house has put, had so much thought put into what kind of room it's going to be and they're all so really quirky and it's just so awesome I loved that everything that you saw was beautifully done everything look I can't even explain or express how much it just looked so great even when you first walk into that house and oh it's fantastic um, yeah, so the, you know, he meets the Browns and then there's also a villain in this movie. At first I was a bit like, oh no, okay, we're going down that route, you know, cliche, cliche, but I think it was actually done too well. It wasn't done over the top, it didn't last out too long, it didn't drag out. The villain bit I really thought at points it was going to drag out, but it didn't. And the villain's Nicole Kidman. So yay, that's kind of cool, that was fun. Um, and also the um, London National History Museum is in, in this film and that is my favourite museum like ever. I've been to that museum multiple times and I really really love it there so I was like ah! It was really kind of exciting to see that for me because I've been there before and like you know I saw a lot of things I'd seen myself um, with it being in London so that was kind of exciting for me personally to be like oh yeah I know that, I know that. Um, but yes yeah, so the National History Museum was in it which was cool. Um, but yes yeah, so we have a villain but it's not done over the top and I was like oh thank gosh for that. I really liked the way they did that, that was really cool. And yeah basically that's kind of all I'm going to tell you about the story but as for the film like I say, it looked absolutely beautiful. I think that's one of the main things that I really loved about this. Um, I just, I don't know, you could pause moments and really, there's so much to take in uh, how much thought they put into it, like each room and each little bit. It's so cute, but also the story is just lovely. I loved it, but it's not a long film. It's how long is it? 95 minutes. So yeah, it's just kind of um, over an hour or so. What is it, an hour and 20? Yeah, an hour and 30 and five. I'm... <laughs> what happened there? It's an hour 35 and um, yeah so it's not super long and it's just so cute and enjoyable but they pack so much in but it doesn't feel rushed. I can't really explain it well, it's perfect basically. It's not too slow, it's not too fast. They pack everything in and it's just great. Um, some of the things that Paddington gets up to is really funny, especially when he first arrives in London and it's all different for him, it's that whole fish out of water thing which we've seen many times in films but again it wasn't overdone. A lot of the stuff in this, I was kind of like, oh no, are they going to kind of really overdo it? But they didn't, uh, which I really appreciated because sometimes in movies it can be overdone, especially villains. I kind of, you, I feel like now we've seen so many movies, especially that, you know, if it's a family friendly movie, the villains can be a bit cheesy and a bit over the top, whereas this villain, I liked it, it was just done simply plain and it was it was fine, I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, the British jokes I thought were fantastic. I especially loved the ones about the rain and all the different um, ways to talk about the rain. That I thought was fantastic. Uh, I loved the browns, they were so much fun. I loved all the action. And what was her name? Um, Judy... Judy... Julia Walters, that's her name. Julia Walters, sorry, I couldn't think of her name right then. Julia Walters was in this and I really loved her character. Also, Jim Broadbent was in this and he owns a little shop. Uh, I won't say much more about his character, but here's a little shop in this, and again, the shop looks so fantastic, it has so many cool little things in it, um, so much thought has gone into this film, I feel like, I was just, like, so surprised by each 
just looking at each scene, I don't know, I feel like that was something I took away from this massively. Sometimes you watch a film and you think, yeah, that film had a fantastic soundtrack, or yeah, that was great, the story was great in this as well. Um, but yeah, you think this, but for me, this film shone beyond measures. There we go. I was like, what am I going to say here? Yeah, Shambhal measures with the sets and the set design and the thought that went into that. I don't know why. Usually that's not something that stands out massively to me. So it really was done well. I feel like it made it so much better, in my opinion, and so much more worth watching. And yeah, but Paddington was so cute. He looked so fluffy. Uh, he was a CGI bear, but he didn't look out of place, which sometimes when they do that, it looks out of place. But he didn't. And you literally just wanted to grab him and just like stroke. He looked so fluffy. It was fantastic. So yeah, overall, I love Paddington, I gave it four and a half stars. I know I'll watch it more times. Um, it's one that you could definitely just put on, it's an easy watch. I could watch this again tonight and have no worries and just be like, yeah, I'll watch Paddington again. I feel like it's going to be one that I'll watch many, many times. So yeah, definitely pick up Paddington, it was so cute and so lovely. I just, I enjoyed it so much. And yeah, so thumbs up from me for Paddington. I, I thought it was going to kind of be a bit cheesy at points, but then it definitely surprised me. I definitely loved it more than I thought I was going to. So if you guys have seen Paddington, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on it. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoy the new movie reviews. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!